Hey you guys and welcome to another Factorio workshop and Zuri is back joining us here. Greetings. So we have a station, um, a kind of smart um, station here submitted by Safris Salmus, I believe. I apologize for name mispronunciation, but essentially what this does, and I'll let Zuri actually go over the details, um, but what, what this does in general is um, it kind of allows like even resource distribution and trains to each station um, because like if there's ore, more ore in the top station um, than the bottom one, it'll send a train to the bottom one um, in general. And then obviously if there's like a train up here as well, it'll send one to the bottom one um, with the use of these six combinators and all the chests are wired together to display contents, um, read contents so it can tell and uh, and yeah. So we have these signals wired up as well which um, just turn based on a condition but I'll let Zuri go for this stuff. Okay so yeah basically it takes the contents and then turns them into B for the top and A for the bottom, and then it compares whether which one's higher. It's doing it twice, right? And can it sends out uh, X and Y signals or Y and Z? Yeah, it's Y and Z actually. Yeah, and these when they're green also produce the signal as well. So for this to turn off. The top has to be, yeah, for the top signal to turn off, the top has to have more and the bottom one has to be clear. Right, yeah, for the signal to turn red. Which basically means that the top one doesn't need one and the bottom is available station to receive a train. It probably works best with the train set to leave when they're empty. Right, that's a good point. And then obviously, I go ahead. Yeah, I've had very similar designs to this, except I did it with like one sixth of the combinators. Yeah, it's uh, this can be simplified, um, but this does work, so not too many complaints really. Um, and then obviously, just for anyone who may be curious or unsure, this these signals, um, even though they have these conditions. The signals will still work normally, um, so if you have a train here, it's still going to stop the train from going in. Um, just in case anyone was wondering about that, um, if it affected the signals um, because you have conditions to them, they'll still work as normal as well. Um, yeah, I suppose we could demonstrate this really quick. Um, so I have some ore. I have 43 copper ore. If I stick it up here, um, and the belt or the inserter was on, but um, okay, it turned off for a little bit. I can same thing down here. Yeah, so you can see that this one has more than this, so the signal's red um, until this unloads, obviously. But since this station, um, all these boxes had more than the top one. This one was red, which means it's going to send a train up here. Now, obviously, if there was also a train up here then both signals would just be red because you can't get through but just like Zuri said if this one has more and this path is free um it, it'll let one through and then uh and then yeah it's just sent through belts through a balancer thing and out i mean you could unload into um like you could unload into logistics maybe um you would have to you wouldn't want these chests to be logistics, though, I don't think, because that would, like, work stuff if they're in your main network, since it would be picking up whatever else is in there if you have, like, more ore somewhere else in your network. That's a completely different topic right there, uh, the bot based on loading system and how you control trains for it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, really the main, the main part of this video is just this smart system. But, uh... It's fully functional, so... Yep, fully functional, and... That's a good thing. Hmm? 
I think that's probably it. Uh, unless, Zuri, you have any other thoughts or comments or complaints? Nope. Alrighty, perfect. Well, there you go, guys. Um, we will throw the blueprint down in the description if you want to play around with this. And uh, thank you to the person who submitted it as well. Pretty cool. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, we will catch you later. Later.